currently in a random jungle here in Bermuda and today I'm doing Naked and Afraid. So I flew to Bermuda, I survived the Bermuda Triangle. And then I found this random jungle. I probably walked 20 to 30 minutes into it. Okay. Now I have to get naked. And now I'm here all alone in this jungle and I'm naked. So that's where we're at with this show. I gave myself three tools, survival tools to use throughout the 20 hour challenge. I have a hammock, chapstick, and some water. My main priority, while well, I still have daylight, which the sun sets around 5, 5.30, I need to set up my hammock, which I've never done before. But that's my main thing, because once I have the hammock set up, I'm chilling. I can be naked on a hammock for a couple weeks. Like, that's okay. Well, honestly, one of the reasons why I chose Bermuda to do this was because there's no predators, like there's no snakes, there's no wildlife. There's an insane amount of roosters, but that's a green flag because that shows that there's no predators to kill them. So I'll take roosters any day of the week, honestly. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this part. But... Okay. Oh, shoot. Okay. Hopefully I don't get canceled for deportation. Whoa, this tree just casually fell. That's holding my clothes. Okay. Me just talking to myself in the middle of this forest, naked. Like imagine if someone just walks in. That's my biggest, that's my fear number one, is not being face to face with a grizzly bear, is being face to face with a human. Like getting caught and being naked and just in the middle of here talking to myself. I'm weirdly excited. You know how you always see those survival shows? And you're like, oh, I wonder what I would do, like, s stranded on a beach or whatever. I'm, like, weirdly excited to see if I'm going to survive tonight or not. Oh, there's two separate ones. Like, are there monkeys? What the frick was that? Another thing I want to do is clear my floor, like remove all the branches, the twigs. I swear I'm hearing stuff. Weirdly peaceful out here. Okay, I have this really bad idea of going on a little naked adventure. The worst part is being barefoot. This like this, ow, <laughs> this hurts. Um, the bad, the thing that's bad about this is my sense of direction because this is what it looks like. Um, and I need to find my my stuff so I'm gonna do this before it gets dark
These rocks are so humbling. Yeah, I'll be honest, that wasn't much of an adventure because my feet are so down bad. Honestly, I'm gonna be talking a lot in this video because I'm not really sure what else I can do in this circle other than just talk to myself. But it also is kind of nice to escape the digital world and just exist. Like I'm really out here and existing as a human being. Think about that. Okay, I'm gonna be insane and try to start a fire with my bare hands, which let's be honest, low expectations, because I have no idea how to survive as a human being alone, but. Okay, clearly couldn't start the fire, but you know, what do we expect? I'm like out of breath now. And like giant coconuts falling from the trees. I saw this thing recently. It said something like, 15 years ago, we used to go on the internet to escape the real world. But now in the present moment, we escape the internet by going to the real world. Which is so true. I feel like <clears throat> we all have to escape the internet. Like there's algorithms that keep us, keep us addicted to our phones and to social media and to internet and like there's all this stuff going on, simulation and entertainment and everything, and it's like sometimes you just need to, sometimes you just need to get naked. You need to get out in the woods and just be a human being for like what we're here to do. We're not here to scroll on our phones for 10 hours a day, you know? Just my crotch <laughs> in this shot. I feel like I can't move too much or I'll probably die from this fall, but for the most part, I think we've successfully made a hammock, knock on wood. Not too bad. screen it says you are paying rent here and it's just like the universe and I was looking up at the stars and I was thinking how how crazy that is like that picture just this video is literally just me projecting my existential crisis into the air but I really am just like we're human beings experiencing the human experience on a floating rock so I have an idea I don't know if it's gonna be a good decision or a bad decision, but because I have this net, I'm gonna lay the hammock on the floor and try to sleep on the dirt, but I'll be in the hammock. I might have messed up because it's cold. The ground is really cold. But, and there's like a rock right here. <laughs> seen that one one rooster cockadoodle doos every single rooster does and I just counted there's 14 <sighs> that actually wasn't like too bad of a night's sleep for some reason. 
I am incredibly cold. Biggest con was how cold it was. And second con was roosters waking you up every 10 minutes because they all just like follow each other. They're still going right now. Oh. And to be honest with you, waking up and hearing oh like God. nature, besides roosters, it's kind of like something I don't ever experience. So I kind of like that. It's just the rooster aspect. A little demasiado kind of me. The ocean is probably a couple, couple miles north, I think. So I'm gonna pack everything and make my way over there. Um, I just have to make sure I don't like run into any people or anything. But I'm gonna pack up everything and go in that direction. I just found this random lagoon. Um, I'm gonna go rinse off. Like, my entire body is just filthy and covered in bites, so. I'm hoping there's like no piranhas. Oh, that's cold. It's really cold. Okay, fish go the frick away. <sighs> go away, it's freezing. Fish. Okay, I'm gonna go under. There's fish, go. Get away, get the frick away, fish, go. No. Cold, okay, I'm getting out. Oh my gosh, it's freezing. It's so cold. It's so cold. All right, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video of me being naked and afraid in Bermuda. I will see you guys in the next country. Goodbye. There's a lot happening right now. Okay, you stay there. <sighs> okay. Anyone else rest or is it just me?